Hello, lovely people. Welcome to the Geek of It. I am Penjum. Welcome to Symmetry, which is a sideways scrolling survival resource management game set on the surface of an alien world, which all sounds really rather splendid, doesn't it? Just so I've had a go at this. I've had a go at Symmetry and it, did, it didn't go well. It didn't go well at all. My poor people, my poor crashed people did not stand much of a chance. They died fairly quickly. Now, whether they died because of my lack of understanding of the game mechanics or whether they die just because I'm totally inept at this sort of game, I don't know. I suspect it's probably a bit of both. But here we go. Let's just start a new game and show you what this is all about. So there is a normal difficulty level. They've added in a recent update the hard difficulty level. Now, I, I played it on normal. I assume it was normal and it was hard enough. So hard difficulty is going to be absolutely ludicrous. So let's go for normal difficulty, shall we? I think we might scrape a chance at that. We might have a slight morsel of hope with a normal difficulty level. I think hard would just be crazy. So yes, normal, please. A planet everybody was afraid of. A mission nobody wanted. A signal which lured them. And the landing which triggered a nightmare. Okay, so a planet nobody wanted, uh, people that don't want to be there either, and a signal that has lured them there. So we have three survivors. We have Desmond, Anna and Jacob who are alive. The rest of the crew status unknown. Now, this is intriguing. Because two of these people are the same from my previous playthrough. The two guys are the same, but the girl is different. You in the middle there, you were not... I think I had her, yes, I had her. Because she had kind of multicoloured spots on her, which I thought was quite cool. So, um, yes, I had her before, but now she appears to be covered in a load of blood. I assume, I assume she's dead. So we have these three people. We have Desmond, Anna and Jacob. Now let's just go into the actual game proper. And it looks gorgeous when it loads. It is. It's a very beautiful game. It's very stylish. It's sort of, it's got a kind of minimalistic style to it, but it's very, very nice. Let me show you what I mean. Look, so there's foreground and background, which is very nice. But if we go over here, look, there's an, there's a sort of tree in the foreground and it, and it moves. Oh, it's, it's very, very lovely. So we have these three people. These are our three survivors. And this is Minor 4, which is the ship that has crashed. And it, I mean, it's crashed quite badly. It's crashed fairly substantially into the floor and bits of it have fallen out by the look of it. So here are two engine bits. The left engine is damaged. The right engine is damaged. And this is some sort of radio type device just here. Over here, there are trees. This is a living sort of module area, which when you zoom out, you see the outside of when you zoom in, you see the inside of and it's jolly exciting. Uh, there is a generator and there is a sort of weather station type thing, I think. And then over here is just various bits of junk and kind of rubbish and stuff and litter and whatever. So we have to survive. And to survive, we need to harvest three things. There are three things that I discovered. I mean, maybe we unlock more later on. But there's three things that we need to get. So just here, these things here, these little sort of circle things in a bundle are logs, so wood from these trees. Because even though we're in the future, even though we are in a future where we can travel to distant worlds and have spacesuits and all these amazing things and mega radio comms equipment, we still burn wood for heat. So yay, go future. We haven't figured out like fusion energy or whatever by that point. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's logs to keep this warm in here. So you put logs in here, that makes a fire and everything, all the heat comes out of these little sort of uh, kind of air conditioning kind of duct things here and here. So that's absolutely fine. This is food. Obviously, we grow food in here. We need food to eat because we are people, which is fairly obvious. And this stuff here is kind of, it's what's it called? It's got a name like electro something or other. I forget what it's called. And what is it? Electro waste. That's it. So it's called electro waste. So it's like circuitry and, and microchips and wires and all that kind of jazz. So the people can go and do certain things. So uh, disturbingly, there is a kill button for the people. I don't quite know why you would ever need to use the kill button. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure, but OK. So him there, what's he called? Jacob. So Jacob can chop down trees pretty well. He's kind of 50% good at chopping down trees because that white bar across the top shows us that. And electro waste, he's not actually that good, but he can do that. So he cannot actually make any food. He's not good at that. That's something he can't do. You, Anna, are okay at doing a bit of food. You're quite good at finding the electro waste. And you are pretty good at food and you're a little bit good at the electro waste thing. So I've only got one person that can chop wood and that is him. And that's, that's okay. We need to 
get him on that straight away. So other things on here, that is rest. So essentially health, they go into these little pod things to heal up. And there is uh, food because they need to eat stuff because they're human beings. And you can teach them stuff. So if we wanted to, we could sit him down. We could sit Jacob down and go, here you go, Jacob, read a book about how to make food. Or read a book about chopping down trees really, really better than you are now. Or finding, what well, I, mean, I don't know how you train someone in finding electro waste. Is there a book on that? That's a very unexciting book if it is. So yeah, so we need to make sure that we've got all of those things. Now you, I think your first priority is go and chop some wood down. So you can do that. You should possibly go and make some food and you should go looking for electro waste. So they're going to run off and do their little task. So let's press play. They will, oh no, no, no. Right, okay, yes, this confused, the controls confuse me a bit. When it's paused, as it is now with the big red pause button, whatever you do with that doesn't make any difference. So you can have normal speed or quick speed you then unpause it onto whatever speed you have specified. First thing we need to do, however, this is the uh, this is the refrigerator just here. So this is where the food will go when we have made some food. It's broken because it's got a spanner next to it. So we need to use eight of our, uh, whatever it is, electro waste, sort of circuitry stuff to repair it. Now, fortunately, we have eight, so that's quite convenient. So we'll do that. And the objects kind of repair themselves as well. The objects look after themselves. Okay, so they're going to go about their business, they will get tired, they will get hungry, and the worse the conditions are outside, if they're out and about, the uh, the more sort of damage they take to their health. Now, uh, also, yes, if they don't eat, they obviously, that, that's a bad thing as well. So they need to have health and food in them to function, but they also need heat. So at the moment, this is not warm. There is, there's no wood, there's no nothing, so this place is freezing cold. Outside is minus 20, so inside is going to be very cold also. Right, so Mr. Man there, Desmond, with his glasses on, is doing some food stuff. So look, this is, this is them um, pinging into life, this is growing food. Look, there you go, it's green, it's like a farm. That's splendid. Here we go, yep. Yeah. Regenerative capsules, that's what they are. Yes, obviously, of course they are. And she has wandered off, so she's going past this thing, which breaks. This thing does break. Now, there is a battery as well, but I don't know how that gets charged up. The battery provides power, while the power plant's failure, failed, I would have thought that should say. But, yeah, so when the power plant is broken, we need to then charge the battery up. And we can upgrade the battery, obviously, with enough stuff. Now, we don't have that. So what does this thing at the top say? The amount of resources produced or harvested depends on the skill level. Yes, okay, we sort of realise that. So she is now coming back with some electro waste that she will drop into here, into this little thing. What our goal is, I think, in the long run... How's your stats? Oh yeah, you're absolutely fine. In the long run, is to repair all these things. So we need to repair this for 90 electro waste, repair this engine for 50 electro waste, and repair that engine for 70 electro waste. However, you will notice down here that our capacity for electro waste is only 20. So we need to do this. We need to upgrade the storage for electro waste by spending electro waste on it. It's a weird inception kind of thing going on. So yes, we need to upgrade the size of this. And then we'll probably need to do the same with the food and indeed the same with this storage of logs. So we don't actually freeze to death. So that's that's pretty good. Now let's just check everyone is okay. So you, yes, you're still fine. Uh, when they're inside, they don't don't normally lose health as such. They might lose a little bit of health, but not a lot. It's when they're outside, they lose the health. Okay, so she could do... Maybe she can make one more trip outside if we speed that on. Let's just make sure she actually survives. So let's zoom out. Yeah, so look, they go to this. It's basically a big load of bits of the ship, by the look of it. A load of monitors or something like that. I don't know. So let's just get her to drop all that stuff in there. So that's in there. Diddly dolly do. She puts the electro waste in. Right, now pause. Put it back onto normal speed. Yeah, so I would say you need to have a little rest. You need to just rest just there. That's fine. Where is Mr. Woodcutter Man? Okay, he seems fairly hardy then. He seems that he's got a tougher constitution. So look, he can then go out and do some more stuff. So yeah, I think he'll be all right for another couple of trips, I would say. We do need to get his skill up, though. We need to get his skill up because when he's going to chop the wood, He's not actually getting that much from it. Do you know what? While the weather is okay, uh, let's send him to actually go and learn about chopping trees down a little bit. And he can bring back more wood when he actually does go chopping down trees. So, yeah, so he has a little sit down. Right, it's gone to night time, so I expect the temperature will come down a little bit. But yeah, so he is just sitting learning now. So if you look on the right hand of that bar, the white bit under the sort of axe choppy thing is actually going along. Right, pause. You probably then need some 
food, which is fine. You do that. Right, so he's now making food. Dangerously low temperature in the shelter. So the wood has burnt out. Right, okay. So we're going to have to do a little bit of uh, sort of management of him getting the wood in and then him improving his skill. Right, so he needs to go and chop down some wood. So let's let him go and do that. Okay, and while they're out doing that, I am going to set Mr. Foodman to actually learn how to make food properly because he's only got kind of 50% uh, skill on it, I think. Yeah, he's only sort of halfway. So we've got 17 out of 20 food. That's okay. These guys are out and about doing stuff. Now, did you take some food? Yeah, you had some food. Did he have some food? Did you eat while you were out? Oh, no, you probably need to go and have a little rest as well. Oh, no, but you do need to bring some wood in. And you brought five wood in. That's not so bad. Right, we'll let you have one more trip out. He also says, I'm surprised we didn't shatter into pieces when landing. No wonder when they give the steers to mindless programmed fools. But finally, a sight for sore eyes. Old man, you imagined it well. And you finally got here. So they have these little sort of story bits as they go along. And yes, weird stuff keeps happening. Weird sort of jiggity-jaggity things keep happening. Right, the, um, the conditions outside are not good. Particularly not for him. Because he is outside and he is not in the best of health at the moment. So he, we need to drop that stuff off. He needs to rest pretty much immediately or he is going to die. So we don't want people to be dead. That's very disadvantageous. There's only three of us as it is. So you possibly need to come back in here. Let's upgrade the food store up to 40. That's fine. And let's upgrade that as well. The wood store up to 40 as well. Right, so he can come in. He can rest. Hey, look, just there. That thing went wibbly wobbly. Things go wibbly wobbly. I don't know why. I haven't got the really this far. This is possibly the furthest I've actually got, which is a bit weird. Because, um, yeah, last time I was terrible. I was so awful at this last time when I played the first time round. I was absolutely rubbish. I was a shambles. Ah, right. Okay, he has maxed out food production, which is splendid news. Right, now, can you go and learn wood choppery, please? Because we could do with someone else who can chop wood. As well as this poor guy here, who's sort of on his own going around chopping wood. Uh, he could do with a, a bit of a friend to go chopping wood with. And we do need some wood quite soon because the wood is going out. So, Anna, we crashed. Have neither communications nor food supplies. They want to fix a transporter using some garbage. Good luck with that. The CO didn't introduce, didn't introduce any plan. Just assign some random tasks no one trained me to do. And nobody's even supervising. This kind of organisation won't take us far. Uh, okay. Now, so she's fully sort of she's got enough food she's got enough health she's going back out looking for electro waste he is eating i think yep so he's now eating some stuff which is fine right you yes get back on your wood chopping if you would be so kind which is good so you need to get out and chop some wood because that is going to run out pretty much as you go out the door yes and now the, that's going to burn through that in not very long that's going to go out and now there's no heating in the shelter which is a bad thing we don't want that very much that fridge has seen better days hasn't it that fridge is falling apart okay he is learning wood cutting this is good this is a good thing but he is getting slightly tired right he's put some more wood back in yay right make another trip he can make another trip that guy does need to eat something pretty soon so yeah you go and go and eat go and eat some food go and do that Nom, 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 nom. Lovely. Look, look, weird wibbly effects going on. I don't know what the weird wibbly effects are about. Uh, you are absolutely fine for a little while. Let's put it onto normal speed. Again, wibblies. I don't know what the wibblies are. I don't know what the wibbly effects are. Right, and now you've eaten some food. Can you... Stop doing the wibbly effects. Uh, actually make some more food, because we have no food to eat. There is nothing. There is no food. We've got three logs, which is not particularly a lot. Uh, yep, you are adding some more logs in. So three up to eight. So he brings back five each time. Yes, we need him to be more efficient at that. That's not overly efficient, I wouldn't say. Oh, right. We need to increase the uh, electro waste size as well. Yes, we need to do that or else we can't fit any more electro waste in. Okay, well, let's wait till that's done. Oh, look, there's someone called Richard transmitting. Transmitting the signal. Anyone hear me? We're alive. I hope John didn't turn you into fries and you're still in one piece. Freaking trash. Is this thing even emitting any radio waves? Piece of garbage. If anybody hears me, I'm letting you know we're okay. Okay, so there's somebody else out there. Okay, how intriguing. Right, Mr. Man here is very good at food. He is doing very good at food things. Right, you bring back this lot of wood here. Right, and now you, Mr. Man, you, yeah, you go and eat something because you couldn't eat something before, could you? Because there wasn't enough food. So you just go and top up on food for a second. Just have a little snack. Yeah, okay, fine. Nom, 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 nom. Delicious vegetable-y type foodstuffs. And now go back 
to learning. Oh, I can't do it. About chopping down trees, please. Meanwhile, ye where have you got? Hello? Hello? Where is he? Where has he gone? Where is the man? Uh, he was just... He was he was here, wasn't he? Wasn't he on his way back? Or has he just dropped something off? Oh, don't... T he's become a... Oh, he's... Uh, <laughs> he's going through the door. Okay, you. Uh, yeah, go and recover in your recovery pod, call it. And uh, yeah, you as well. Go and recover in your pods. I think we might need to have a little uh, a little bit of rest time. A little bit of R&R. &R. A little bit of R&R &R time. Oh, oh, right. That's probably a really bad thing. What was the really bad thing that just happened there? There was a really bad kind of explodey looking thing. I don't want explodey looking things. Can we not have explodey things, please? That's that's very preferable. Weird wibbly thing. Uh, okay, right. So let's just get these guys rested. So we need to basically get enough money, uh, enough money, sorry, enough of these electro things, whatever it's electro waste, to, uh, we, we need to upgrade this, is what I'm trying to get at. So this currently holds 40. Now, uh, hang on, how we use for stats? You're absolutely fine. Yeah, you're all cool. You're all cool for stats. So that holds 40. Ah, oh, Jacob. What fools for not noticing the planet has been fit for settling for decades now. Good one. Just no and no. No research in this area. Time to roll up my sleeves, get dirty, and take responsibility for this myself. Okay, so they've each got little stories. I'm not entirely sure what he is on about. But yeah, so, for example, to mend this, we need to spend 90 electro waste in one go to repair that. And that's 50, and that's 70. So that thing there needs to hold 90 electro waste, which means that this thing also needs to hold 90 electro waste. So let's upgrade that. Oh, no, we could upgrade the battery, couldn't we? In fact, yes, that's probably a good idea. If this generator breaks, which it did do the last time I played, this power plant thing broke. Let's upgrade the battery and see how that goes. So if we upgrade the battery... Right, hang on, pause. Where is everybody now? Where is everyone? Where are people? Where are people? Are two of you next to each other? Are you Are you both next? Where's the old guy? Oh, he's going back out again. Oh, you are a trooper, sir. You are a trooper. Okay, uh, yeah, you, I think, he's fine. He's absolutely fine. Oh, yeah, he could go woodcutting shortly. Right now, go and make us some more food because she's going to go and eat some of the food. But then eventually he can go out woodcutting whilst he is having a rest. He can come back and have something to eat. Yeah, okay, right. This is good. This is making sense. And the battery is now upgraded. So the battery is going to be more efficient. So if this does break, we won't be left sort of out of pocket, as it were. There's some more electro waste there. Right, okay. You learn how to collect electro waste better. I'm pretty confident now that we've got some good food coming in because he's maxed out his food skills and we'll have some good wood supplies coming in because his is quite near the top. In fact, do you know what? Can you go and learn how to top that up then? You go and learn how to get good good lumber skills. Oh, right, you've got to wait behind her. Oh, okay, right, put, don't do that now then. That's, a, that's not a good use of your time currently. Uh, you are okay. You are absolutely fine. Right, pause. Let's send him for a rest, which is good. I could be sitting peacefully in the academy conducting research. I had a cosy job and no responsibility. That new PhD student would have asked me out. But no, Daddy had to kick me out here. You'll make history. You're going to save us. Who's going to save us now? <laughs> Who are you going to call? So, he needs a rest. So, dangerously low temperature outside. And again, something just kind of went bang. Do I need to worry about the thing that went bang? Don't like it when things go bang. No more things that go bang, please. I also noticed last time you can upgrade the um the weather the the weather station, whatever this thing is, for four four chips, four electro waste. But I don't know what upgrading it does. I don't know what it does. This is bad, however. Is this today's weather? A skull, a a, a skull. I mean, that is never a good sign. Today's <laughs> Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome to the welcome to the weather. So today's weather across the country: skulls. Yeah, don't go outside because, well, because skulls. So yeah, skulls with frosty eyes with lightning bolts going out of it. I don't think that's a very good. That's not a very good weather thing. Uh, I wonder what upgrading it does. It's only four. Let's see what upgrading it does. Let's see. Right, dangerously low temperature outside. Does that mean that he is now taking quite a lot of uh, hurt from being outside? So maybe once he's done this, we'll get him back home. If we can get him in, 
He can drop all that wood off that he's just picked up, which is splendid. Right, you do that. Drop the wood off. Lack of energy. Power plant broken. Ah, right. Okay, yes. Now, we can repair this. I think it costs six. Yeah, six. So, let's repair the power plant. This is bad. Now, the battery should be keeping us afloat at the moment. Oh, look at the weather outside. It's horrendous. Okay, I don't want you to go outside. Learn about planteries, please. You can keep making food. That's a good use of your time. And you, don't go back out, you fool. Go and get some um, go and get some good good life. Go and get healed up in the little regeneration pod, whatchamacallits, uh, that he's not going into the regeneration pods. Ah, because the power was broken, of course. Right, okay. So now he's fine. Uh, okay, okay. So what I need to do is, I shall crack on. Oh, there's something else broken. What's broken? That's broken. Oh, so this room's going to be really cold. Oh, the heat is broken there. Right, yeah, well, let's repair that as well. Yeah, we need you to go outside in a bit and do some some electro electro bump gathering. But you don't have... It's a bit cold out there at the minute. I don't want to send anybody outside in minus 67 degrees with skulls. I just think that's probably a bad thing. Right, Desmond. Not that I'm complaining, but Jacob begged me to come here to diagnose the technology for a possible resettlement. Conditions which would be no worse than a four-star hotel and now some champs champs are telling me to walk around on ice in an uncomfortable suit and pick up sticks actually that's you isn't it you're mostly inside growing food you're the cushy you've got the cushy job of this you stay here and play on the computers while old man whatever his name is old man jacob goes out goes out there and chops down trees space trees with his space axe and um she goes rummaging around for electrical junk I rather think you can uh, shut your trap there, Sonny Jim. Okay, so yes, let's just carry on. I shall plod on. We need to increase the size of this, so we need more electro waste. We need more stuff, so I'll keep going until stuff happens of note, because otherwise there's going to be a lot of nothing happening. I'm just going to be doing the same sort of things over and over again. Now, I am just going to carefully watch him as he goes out. He's going to get the last of this tree, I assume, so... Choppity, 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 chop. And there's the tree. And there's a little bit of tree left. That's good. Now, he does need something to eat. He needs food. So the priority is when he drops that wood off into there, of which he will drop off hopefully quite a bit. Yeah, he's not as good as the other guys. Right. You go and do some food. And now you, because you've annoyed me, because you were whinging like a baby about the fact that could be picking up sticks. Yeah. You know what? Now, go and pick up some sticks, Sonny. And whinging about it, yeah, back in your box, right? Okay, yep. Yeah, let's um, let's get all this stuff done then. Let's get all this electro waste and start upgrading this. And we'll come back when something of note happens. But yes, I think this is just going to be a sort of case of me trying to keeping to sort of keep people alive and such like as we go. Yeah. So he needs to. No, not you. You need a rest, uh, idiot. What was I waiting for? My grandma could tell me more up this planet than a scan of the entire galaxy. A few studies, and I'll find out if we were safe. A little bit of trouble and a pair of ooh, a pair of. A pair of balls is what the edge is lacking. Well, at least Richard didn't fail me. And as soon as he gets to the base, he's going to provide me with a lot of valuable information. I don't know who Richard is. Uh, okay, right. So, yes. Obviously, the story will keep happening. I'll try and update you on the story as we go. But uh, I just think that I need to get this thing upgraded. So we need to send people out to gather electro waste as soon as possible. So if you eat some food, we send her out and we'll see how we get on. Ah, right. The mysterious Richard has messaged us again. Please, respond, I swear. I was sure the others made it as well. I swear to God, I don't know. They vanished, disappeared. I'm alone. Hello, respond. Anyone alive? Well, there's three of us alive at the moment, although this guy does need to have a rest and some food. But uh, yeah, there's three of us alive at the moment, Richard. Just, just hang on, we'll be with you in a bit. Okay, some time has passed. Richard is back. I only remember the landing and then it just went blank. I woke up in this godforsaken place. Damn it, if only you knew the amount of corridors this place has. I'm still looking for a way out of here. I'll get back to you. So I have no idea where Richard is. Uh, were we in lots of different individual little bit spaceship bits? And they've all sort of crashed independently around the planet? So is there something like Minor 1, Minor 2, Minor 3? And we're Minor 4? Or is there a bigger ship? And we're just one little ship that's fallen out of a bigger ship? I don't know. So current status of things. Anyway, uh, he is currently having a little bit of a little bit of a sleepy time. A little bit of health regeneration. I'm trying to train people up as much as I can. So she... Currently, is good at both food production and electro waste. She can do both to the maximum of her abilities. So I'm now just getting her to learn lumber chopping, which is pretty good. And where's Mr. Mr. Showy off smarty pants too important? He, he's good at everything now. 
He's been trained to be good at everything. However, I've only just noticed he's actually not got much in the way of anything. Come back, maybe. So I'd rather you didn't die. It certainly made things trickier, because you're the mo most sort of skilled person as well. Please come back quicker. Out of the terrible cold. Out of the terrible cold. Right, you... Uh, yes, you can get... In fact, is she good at woodcuttery yet? No, unfortunately not. Okay, yeah, so you get straight back on chopping wood, please. That'd be really useful. You get in and have a rest. I think that's your most important thing at the minute. Yeah, rest and food. You'll be fine now you're in the shelter, so that's okay. So he's having a little rest. And yeah, she's still learning uh, wood cutting. So uh, yeah, we'll have to leave her doing that. I think that's going to be useful. If everyone is skilled in everything, it doesn't matter what he's doing. I don't want to, you know, I don't have to go, ah, well, he's not very good at getting electro waste. So let's not send him. There's weird, there was a tree. There's a weird tree going on. Lack of energy, power plant broken. Okay, right, so the battery is keeping us going, but we need to repair this for another six. It's getting a bit tedious, to be honest, that thing breaking all the time. Uh, no, you need some food. You need some, Do I have to tell you to do everything? I'm glad there's not a toilet in this game. I have to tell you to do that as well. Right, okay, so he's eaten food, which is lovely. Right, you may need to make some more food for everybody, my good sir, because you appear to have eaten it all. Right, where's Captain Woody McWoods? Woody McWoods is going back woodcutting. That's fine. She is pretty much on her way to learning all about woodcutting. So hopefully in the next couple of seconds, she'll be pretty good at that. If we just wait to see it go up to the top, the next little tick up possibly. Right, so she, I don't think it needs to do any more kind of researchy stuff. Right, go and eat something and then you will be sort of ready to go out. So once you've done that, you will be absolutely fine. Right, where's Mr. Man? Where is he? There. Okay, when he comes back, he needs a rest. He needs to have a little rest in one of the pods. And she, once she's finished her food... Right, splendid. There. So she's had enough food. Let's send her out to do some wood cutting, which is a good idea. He can stay in there for a bit and do some food prep. And that means that this guy, Jacob, can then, um, then yes, have a little rest and have some food and stuff. Bravo, congrats at this rate. I died twice. Who needs the freaking transporter? We need data. Demis from the agency must begin resettlement. They don't come to their senses. Humanity is bound to become extinct. So yeah, I'm not entirely following the story, I'll be perfectly honest. It's almost as though they've found this planet nearer than they expect. So is it close to Earth? And and they the government are keeping it a secret from people? I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely wholly sure. But whatever the case. Right, so he's doing some more food. She's now chopping wood, which is good. So I think, is she now a, a complete skilled person as well? Yes. So she is now a completely skilled person. So let's get you then. Let's get old man woodcuts once he's healed up. He can then go and do some more learning. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. This generally breaks things. When that happens, stuff breaks. Go get some food. Go and eat. Come on. When you're hungry, you eat food, don't you? Do you remember? Yeah, I mean, I know you're a bit old, but you might be able to work that out. Right, and then... Uh, learn about lumber, because you've almost got that to the top anyway. So we'll teach him, and we shall crack on. But yes, it's slow going. I'll be honest, it's very slow going. Uh, we're trying to just basically get enough wood in the thing before we can even start thinking about getting any more electro waste. Oh, okay. Mark. Lieutenant Mark Garecki. I'm back. I need to speak to the commander. I've got crucial information to handle, but first, give me a minute. I've got to rest. Okay. So day nine at one in the morning, because it's night time, I think. Lieutenant Mark Garecki is what? He's going to come back and talk to us. Right. Okay. Well, I sent him out to do a little bit of a search for electro waste. And I think the other two, I suspect, are off, um, off wood cutting. Yeah, you're just there. You are wood cutting. And I suspect she has come back from wood cutting. Where are you? Oh, no, you're regenerating. You're kind of regenerating in that little pod thing. Okay, that's fine. So, yes, our quest continues. But Mark Garecki is now also around somewhere to, uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll wait for further communications from him. Oh, wait, 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 Mark is another person. He's another actual person, look, look, he's there in jeans and a t-shirt. Hello, Mark Garecki. Oh, my goodness, what do you do? What's that thing? Power plant operations? <gasps> oh, can you now learn power plant operation? Oh, that's rather sexy, isn't it? Okay, fine, so, well, he said he needed to rest. So let's put him in one of those. You possibly could do with eating, my lady, before you go and do anything else. So let's get you having some food. Splendid. Right, now, yes, you go out and get some more wood, which is splendid. Uh, okay, you're you're going back out. You could do with the rest, actually. We'll rest you up. Where's the other guy? Oh, he's 
miles away from everything else. But he is actually doing okay. He is doing fine. Uh, okay, right. So we've got we've got another person then. Where's the other dude? Where are you? You. Uh, okay, well, I'm not going to stop you. You can go and do power plant operations or whatever it is. Oh, look, it's opened up. It's opened up. He can actually do a thing. What does it do? What is he actually... He's filling the battery up. Ah. So there we go. So the battery is now topping up. Oh, well, that's pretty flipping impressive, isn't it? Oh, good job, Mark Gorecki. And Richard's back as well. Hello, Richard. Listen, I've drawn a makeshift map, but something's still not right. As if everything had a life of its own, as if the walls were moving like in a damn mechanical labyrinth. Okay, right. So stuff is going on. So Richard is doing that. Okay, right. The weather is not the best of weather. Uh, oh, and the, um, the the thing's broken. Let's repair the weather station. Even though I don't particularly need... Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. Get you home. Get you home immediately. Get home. Get home. You're going to die. I didn't notice that you were quite so poorly. Quickly get home. What about the others? What about the others? Oh, this could be all where it goes wrong. I'm too excited by Mark Gorecki appearing. Uh, yeah, you go and have a little lie down. You go get some food. Everyone just come in. Right, will Mr. Posh Glasses Man actually make it home? I think he might die. He's got a sad face. Come on, come on, come on. You're nearly there. You're nearly there. Dangerously low temperature outside. Get in. Get inside the nice warm building. Get yourself into the Healy Pod and have a nice Healy time. Don't you steal his Healy Pod, Mr. Man. Oh my goodness me. He's got nothing. He must be on the verge of being dead. Oh dearie me. That could have been... That could have been a bit of a disaster. The only thing is, now, I don't want him to go outside. Let's set him to do power plant operations. Oh, now I've got another person to look after. Now I have to think about you. Right, you go get something to eat. Oh, my goodness me. This is very complicated. Right, you eat the food. You do the eating. Right, good. Right, where are you going? You're going to chop wood. That's fine. You go and chop wood. You fill your boots. You're regenerating. You're learning about power plants. You're, yeah, you, you've, you just finished eating. Right, you need to rest. Okay, so you go and do resting. Okay, splendid. Right, so two are resting. He's learning, so I don't really want him to go outside. And uh, she's going to go and chop down some trees. Okay, right, let's zoom out. Let's just make sure that nobody runs off and does anything silly. But yes, the artwork is very, very lovely. It looks, it, it, it's a beautifully presented game. It's really nice. I like the sort of the style of it. There's a nice sharp jaggedy jiggity jaggy lines. It's really good. Okay, let's just get you doing that. And now, do you know what you can do to stay inside? Do some food. Make us some lovely food. Right, he is done. So now he, the battery is full, so he doesn't really need to go and do anything else. How about we train him? Let's train him on electro waste. Yes, go and do electro waste stuff. And you can go in the helipod. Right, where's she? Oh, yeah, you can go back. Go back. Go back into a helipod. Okay, so there we go. So she's gone back into a helipod. She can heal up. Okay, I'm quite enjoying this. I think this, with the introduction of Mark and some, some Clement... Well, Clement for this planet. It's not horrendous, I suppose. Some Clement weather. I think we're going to call it a part there. I thought this would be a fairly short game. But no, there is actually quite a lot going on. So, um, yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll come back. We'll come back for another part for this and see how I get on with the four of them and see if, was he called Richard? See if Richard comes back to us, who's lost in his sort of labyrinthine maze of corridors, wherever he is. And uh, yeah, we'll see how we get on. But I think we're okay. I think we've got a fairly good balance. I'd quite like him to be better skilled at more things. I'd quite like him to be better skilled at at least one more thing, so the electro waste, because he's sort of one of the original crew who's not letting the side down because he has been chopping wood since day one. You you have kept us alive from freezing to death, my good man. But yes, he would. it would be nice if he was better skilled in some other areas. We want to get him to have his uh, electro waste searching skills up, which is good. He's also very, very good at chopping wood, which is particularly helpful. And then, yeah, everyone else, just, we just need to sort of keep cracking on and getting on with it. But we do need more electro waste. The only thing is, as I've now noticed, the things are further away. So when they go to chop wood, the trees are all the way over here now. They're quite a long way away. And over here, the electro waste is really far away. There's a little bit here. There's some... I mean, look how far they have to go. They have to go all that way over there, which is crazy. So I wonder... I'm now wondering if there is enough electro waste to do what we need to do. If they pick up all that electro waste, is there enough? Maybe you can't upgrade everything. Maybe the whole idea is you can't upgrade your 
uh, this bit here, your sort of wood storage and your food storage and your electro waste storage and do your battery and repair this and repair all the other things that break and re do your weather station as well and get your shit back up and running. I don't know if that's a, if you can even do that. So um, yeah, how intriguing. I'm just going to click this to see if you can send, say, 15 of our electro waste over. Or do we have to have 90 in one go? Okay, it makes, it, it makes an, a sort of irritated electric -y sound. Yeah, it sounds like if you stood on R2-D2's foot or something, it might make that noise. Yeah, so, no, that's that's not going to work. Okay, so we'll come back. We shall come back and we shall see how we get on in part two of Symmetry. But yes, I think this has been rather good. So yeah, we're going to come back and give it another go. I think it deserves a resolution. I don't want to leave our guys out here in the cold. So hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, please do leave a like. And also please do subscribe as well to keep up to date with games like this and other stuff that we do as well. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. You can be the last accounting office, city tax offices. Boo, tax man. Yeah, you look busy. Is it a quiet day at Bedrock Insurance, is it? Is he gonna use the stairs, or is he gonna be a lazy beggar? Yeah, you lazy ass. And all the lights are on, and I notice that everyone has left their lights on. I'm paying for this electricity, you gets.